Did you know a single oil change mistake can wreck your engine in under 30 seconds? We're talking metal grinding metal, seals bursting open, and your wallet taking a $7,000 hit. Even trained mechanics get these wrong, and once damage starts, it's often too late. In this video, I'll show you 19 oil change mistakes that destroy engines fast. And if you stick around, I'll share two bonus tips that could save your engine and your money. Let's begin. Mistake number 19. Leaving the old O-ring behind? This one's easy to miss, but it can silently destroy your engine. It's called double gasketing. When the old rubber O-ring sticks to the engine block and you screw on a new filter without noticing. Now you've got two gaskets and no proper seal. The moment you start the engine, oil blasts out under pressure. In seconds, your engine is starving. No lube, just metal grinding metal and a $4,000 repair waiting to happen. Pro tip, every time you pull off a filter, ensure the old O-ring comes with it. Check the metal seat where it mounts and don't rush. Miss this step and your next oil change might be your last. Mistake number 18, draining cold oil. Cold oil is thick and lazy. It clings to your engine's guts, trapping sludge, shavings, and grime deep inside. Drain it cold and half that filth stays behind. You think you did an oil change? Not really. Warm oil is your cleanup crew. It flows fast, carries out the junk, and leaves your engine breathing easy. Run the engine for five to 10 minutes, and that's all it takes. But don't rush. If the oil's piping hot, it'll scald your hands. Let it cool enough, then drain it properly. Leaving contaminants in your engine can be a nightmare, but it's not as bad as the next mistake. Mistake number 17, over-tightening the drain pan bolt. Tight doesn't always mean better. Cranking that bolt too hard can strip the threads, or worse, crack the oil pan, especially if it's aluminum, like in many Ford and GM trucks. Use the wrong tool or too much force. And now the bolt's rounded off. Good luck getting it out without a breaker bar or a chisel. If the threads are gone, you're looking at $75 to re-thread it, or up to $1,000 to replace the whole pan. Here's the fix. Always check your manual for the correct torque specs. Set your wrench, tighten till you hear the click, and stop. One twist too far, and your next oil change becomes a total nightmare. Mistake number 16, over tightening the oil filter. This is where muscle ruins machines. Tightening the filter too hard crushes the rubber O-ring, warps the seal, and leaves tiny gaps enough for oil to leak down the engine. At first, it's just a drip that leads to a mess, then a costly repair. And good luck removing it later. It'll feel like it's been welded on. Expect a war with wrenches and a few bruised knuckles. Here's what to do. Hand tighten it until it's snug. Then turn it another three quarters, and that's done. Using no tools, not having to guess, with no leaks. The next mistake is one that even seasoned drivers make on occasion. Mistake number 15, overfilling oil. Even half a quart too much oil can cause serious damage. When the level is too high, the crankshaft slaps the oil, whipping it into foam, and foamy oil can't lubricate. That means more friction, sometimes up to 30% more, and faster engine wear. It doesn't stop there. Too much oil raises crankcase pressure. That pressure blows past gaskets and seals, causing leaks. A blown rear main seal alone can cost you anywhere from $400 to $1,200. Modern engines don't have much wiggle room. Most four-cylinder cars hold just 4 to 5.5 quarts. Add even 200 milliliters, around 7 ounces, too much and you're already putting stress on seals, especially if fuel or coolant is sneaking into the oil. And here's the thing, overfilling often isn't intentional. It usually happens because of a few other mistakes we'll cover later in this video. So stay tuned, because those are the ones you really need to avoid. Mistake number 14, failing to remove the oil filler cap. Here's another mishap that could ruin your engine and cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. If you don't remove the oil filler cap, a vacuum forms inside the engine. That slows the oil from draining out. When oil drains too slowly, 
it leaves old, dirty oil stuck inside. Those leftovers carry contaminants that can wear down your engine over time. It's like draining a tank with no vent. Slow, stubborn, and guaranteed to waste your time. Removing the cap lets airflow in, so the oil drains smoothly and completely. After you finish draining and refilling, always double check that the oil filler cap is properly secured. If you forget it, oil can splash out while driving. That opens the door for dirt, debris, and major engine problems you definitely don't want. So next time you change your oil, remember the basics. Take off the oil filler cap before you drain and screw it back on tight when you're done. It's one of the easiest ways to protect your engine for the long haul. The next mistake is one that smart drivers never make. Mistake number 13, adding new oil without draining the old oil. Old oil breaks down over time. It loses viscosity and its ability to lubricate your engine properly. Worse, it fills up with dirt, metal shavings, and combustion byproducts. When you keep adding fresh oil on top, you're just mixing good oil with bad. Instead of restoring protection, you're diluting it. Contaminants stay behind, sludge builds up and corrosion eventually eats away at internal parts. Little by little, engine performance drops. Wear increases and repair costs skyrocket. If you are not ready to part with $4,000 or $10,000 to replace a whole new engine, drain the old oil. Adding new oil isn't a shortcut to a healthy engine. It's a slow road to expensive problems. Stick to full oil changes, not half measures. And even when you think you're topping off just right, missing one final move could cost you big. Mistake number 12, skipping the final oil check after the change. Oil settles differently once the engine runs. What looked full when you poured it in might not stay full after the oil circulates. Always start the engine after changing the oil. Let it idle. Rev gently up to 3,000 RPM, then shut it off. Wait about 10 minutes, then check the dipstick. Wipe it clean, dip it again, and look carefully. If the engine is thirsty, you might find the level has dropped more than you expected. And if you don't top it off, you're running with too little oil and asking for big trouble. Even the so-called pros at quick oil change shops mess this up. They punch in a number from a database, set a meter, and pump it in. But meters can be off, and databases can be wrong. A quick final check saves you from a dry crankcase, blown seals, or worse. Never trust the first fill. Always double check. Mistake number 10. Not lubing the oil filter o-ring. Here is a controversial one. Many old pros never lubricate the o-ring, but they also never over-tighten the oil filter. Plus, they always change oil regularly. At the end, I'll share a bonus tip that will help you keep up with the pros. To play it safe, always lubricate it. If you install a dry oil filter, the o-ring may not seal properly. Instead of locking the oil inside, it lets it leak right back out. Oil leaks mean less lubrication for your engine's moving parts. Less lubrication means more friction, more wear, more heat, and higher repair bills. It takes just a few seconds, but it matters. Always dip your finger into fresh oil and coat the O-ring before installing the new filter. That tiny move creates a tight seal and stops leaks before they start. It also makes removing the filter much easier at your next oil change. Unless your car is extremely sensitive, your engine will survive this mistake. But the next one, unlikely. Mistake number nine, changing oil but skipping the oil filter. A dirty oil filter doesn't just sit there harmlessly. It contaminates your fresh new oil almost immediately. When that happens, dirt, sludge, and metal particles start circulating through your engine. That junk wears down pistons, bearings, and cylinders faster than you think. It even clogs narrow oil passages, cutting off critical lubrication. Starve your engine of oil in the wrong spots, and you're flirting with catastrophic failure and a repair bill that'll make you sweat. The most common side effect is overheating. If you're lucky, all you'll need is a tow. But in some cases, you might blow a gasket. That will set you back up to $3,000. That's why you should replace the oil filter with every oil change. It's a small part with a huge job. Don't skip it. If you've been following this channel, 
there is no way you would make the next mistake. Mistake number five, spilling oil on engine components and not cleaning it up. Every experienced driver knows that oil left on surfaces can cause damage. What you might not know is how expensive the repairs can be. Spilled oil can degrade rubber hoses and belts, causing them to swell, soften, or crack over time. It can also creep into electrical connectors and wiring. That can cause short circuits, corrosion, and weird sensor problems you don't want to deal with. A common repair is changing the O2 sensor because of oil damage. This repair can be as high as $600. Sometimes, oil spills lead to full electrical failures that can leave you stranded. Even worse, it can become a fire hazard. Engine oil normally has a high flash point, but if it builds up on hot engine parts, it can start smoking, smell awful, and catch fire. Clean up any spilled oil right away. Use rags or paper towels to soak it up. Then spray a degreaser and wipe it down carefully. This mistake often goes hand in hand with the next one. Mistake number four, refilling oil too fast. Besides spilling oil on sensitive surfaces, refilling too quickly also leads to air pockets. This can cause foaming, which reduces the oil's ability to lubricate effectively. When oil is aerated, it forms bubbles that interfere with the oil pump's function. That creates inconsistent oil pressure. Low pressure means engine parts don't get enough protection. This increases friction, speeds up wear, and raises the risk of damage. To avoid this, pour the oil slowly and steadily. Give it time to settle as you go. Using a funnel helps control the flow and keeps you from making a mess. After refilling, Wait a few minutes before checking the dipstick. This lets any trapped air escape and gives you an accurate reading. While being slow is good, you don't want to be too slow and risk a different type of problem. Mistake number three, letting dirt or debris fall into the oil fill hole. Dirt, dust, or even small debris can easily find their way in. Once inside, these contaminants circulate with the oil, acting like sandpaper on engine components. Over time, this abrasive action can wear down critical parts of the engine. Next, you are dealing with decreased performance and potential engine damage. Moreover, larger particles can clog oil passages or damage the oil pump. Even tiny bits can accumulate, forming sludge that hampers oil flow. This not only reduces lubrication efficiency, but also increases the risk of overheating and premature engine wear. To prevent this, Always clean around the oil cap before removal. Use a clean funnel when adding oil and avoid leaving the fill hole open longer than necessary. If you suspect debris has entered, consider changing the oil and filter promptly to minimize potential harm. If you think you might have made this mistake, don't panic. I've included a bonus tip at the end that's a game changer. Mistake number two using an impact wrench to remove the drain plug. Impact wrenches deliver powerful, rapid torque, way more force than a delicate drain plug needs. If your oil pan is aluminum, you're in real danger. One slip and you'll strip the threads or crack the pan completely. Stripped threads mean oil leaks, starvation, and potentially a wrecked engine. On the other hand, cracked pans mean full replacements, so you'll either spend $1,000 on a new pan or up to $7,000 on a new engine, all because you didn't follow the instructions in your manual. But it gets worse. The sudden jolt of an impact wrench can yank the plug out violently. Hot oil can gush out and cause serious burns. If you don't have the tools or the patience to change oil, go to a mechanic. It might cost you a few dollars, but it will save you a lot of money in the long run. Mistake number one running the engine immediately without checking for leaks. Did you know that modern engines can circulate oil at rates of up to 40 liters per minute? That means that if there is a leak, all of the oil can drain out in less than 30 seconds. This can happen when the oil filter or drain plug is loose and the engine pressurizes the oil system instantly. If you are high tailing it, this could overheat your engine almost instantly and cause irreparable damage. This mistake caused a blown motor in a Ford Fusion and cost $5,000 to fix. So before you fire it up, take a moment to inspect. Look under the car for any fresh oil spots. 
check around the oil filter and drain plug for signs of seepage. If everything looks dry, start the engine and let it idle. Then, turn it off and check again. As sometimes, leaks only appear once the oil is under pressure. If you've made it this far, you're serious about keeping your engine safe. And as a thank you, here are the bonus tips. Tip number one, reset your trip B or trip two meter every time you change your oil. You can write it down, but it's not enough. Papers get lost, sticky notes fall off, and good intentions fade fast. Resetting your trip B or two is a foolproof alternative. No guessing and no forgetting. It's easy too. Find the trip reset button. It's usually a small knob or button near the gauges. Press and hold it when the ignition is on, but the engine is off. Trip B resets to zero. Tip number two. Upgrade to a magnetic oil drain plug. These little devices can save you from small problems like changing your oil more often. It can also save you from big problems like engine failure. It works by grabbing tiny metal shavings floating in your oil, stuff you can't even see. Left unchecked, those particles grind down your engine from the inside. A magnetic plug traps them before they can cause real damage, keeping your oil cleaner and your engine healthier, longer. They cost a bit more, but they more than pay for themselves. If you've learned from this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if you're serious about saving your engine, make sure you're doing all of the tips in this next video. Doing this will make your engine run like new again.